We're having some fun here tonight, and that's good. On a personal note, what an amazing honor it is to be with all of you. And I want to congratulate Hillary on getting the nomination, and we're in there fighting. And over the next 19 days, uh, somebody's going to be chosen. We'll see what happens. But I have great memories of coming to this dinner with my father over the years when I was a young man. Great experience for me. This was always a special experience for him and me to be together. One thing we can all agree on is the need to support the great work that comes out of the dinner. Millions of dollars have been raised to support disadvantaged children, and I applaud the many people who have worked to make this wonderful event a critical lifeline for children in need. And that we together broke the all-time record tonight is really something special. More than six million net, net, net. The Cardinal told me, that's net, net, Donald, remember. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias, to defend religious liberty, and to create a culture that celebrates life. America is in many ways divided. Thank you. America is in many ways divided like it's never been before. And the great religious leaders here tonight give us all an example that we can follow. We're living in a time and age that we never thought possible before. The vicious barbarism we'd read about in history books, but never thought we'd see it in our so-called modern day world. Who would have thought we would be witnessing what we're witnessing today. We've got to be very strong, very, very smart, and we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. I believe how we treat others is the highest expression of faith and of service. Now, I'm not Catholic, I'm a Methodist, but one of the things that we share is the belief that in order to achieve salvation, we need both faith and good works. And you certainly don't need to be Catholic to be inspired by the humility and heart of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, or to embrace his message. His message about rejecting a mindset of hostility his calls to reduce inequality, his warnings about climate change, his appeal that we build bridges, not walls. Now, as you may know, my running mate, Tim, is Catholic and went to Jesuit schools. And one of the things he and I have talked about is this idea from the Jesuits of the Magis, the more, the better. Well, we need to get better at finding ways to disagree on matters of policy while agreeing on questions of decency and civility. How we talk to each other, treat each other, respect each other. So I've taken this concept of Majus to heart in this campaign as best as one can in the daily heat, the back and forth of a presidential campaign to ask how we can do more for each other and better for each other. Because I believe that for each of us, our greatest monument on this earth won't be what we build, but the lives we touch. And that is ultimately what this dinner is all about. And it's why it's been such a great honor to join you all again. Thank you. Thank you.